Hey guys, Kurt Slosser with GeekWire. We're in a spot today where people haven't been since the Space Needle was being constructed. We're 500 feet off the ground on a scaffold that's suspended below the iconic spires of this Seattle landmark and we're checking out the construction project known as the Century Project. And Karen, tell us about the Century Project and, and a little bit more about where we're standing. Yeah, so we're in the middle of a historic renovation. We call it the Century Project because we want the Space Needle is relevant in 2062. It's the day it opened in 1962. So it's a complete renovation of the, what we call the Top House, 500 feet above. And so we're renovating all the things you won't see, so all the mechanical, electrical, things like that. And then while we're up here, we're renovating all the things you will see. So we are going gaga for glass. We're going to go photosetting glass on both levels. Uh, on the outer observation deck, taking away that metal cage, we're going to do glass barriers, glass benches, and an open stairwell between the two levels with a glass oculus. And the restaurant level, we'll put in a glass floor. It's quite the uh, home renovation project, this, it is. this yeah. high in the air. I mean, yeah. you, you put a scaffolding on your house maybe to do some painting. This is a feat of engineering to be, we're suspended essentially by some chains, yeah. uh, but there's probably more to it than that. Some chains and some pulleys. <laughs> yeah, no, it is crazy cool. They use these platforms for like dams and bridges, but never in a structure like this. So it's never been lifted 500 feet in the air. We had to build it around the space in your legs, which are wider at the base. So we had to bring up just the core, look almost like a donut, it was just 12 little um, motors with 12 cables, mm -hmm. secure it, and then build out the rest of the floor, secure that, build out the rest of the platform, secure that, and then enclose it. So it's been quite a feat of engineering. Has there been anything unique as you've, as you've peeled back these layers of the Space Needle that, that, are, that are kind of uh, telling you a little bit of history about this building? The surprise was as we peeled back kind of the paint around the steel and getting down to the structure is like workers over the years have left notes. And so oh. we found some original notes from the original crew saying, you know, 62 days left or you know, 70 days left. And then we found, found notes throughout the years of different crews. And so that's been kind of fun. So when can uh, visitors to the Space Needle expect to be able to visit the new restaurant, the new observation deck, and so forth? Yeah, so the construction will take you know several years for the whole project. For this first part, only nine months, so we'll be done by May. And actually, the observation deck is open during construction, so people can come during construction. They're doing one section at a time. Once that first section's done, people can come see the glass barrier, the glass bench. We think that'll be pretty exciting. And then we'll open both floors for this summer. You know, I myself haven't been up to the top of the needle in about 20 years. So I picked a good day to do it. I'm standing outside, basically about eight feet from a 500 foot drop. Uh, they invited us up here today because pretty soon there's gonna be netting that will cover this area and the view will be obstructed. This will be an enclosed construction site. So today's a great day to do it. Mount Rainier is turning pink as the sun sets further. There's ferries, you can see the Great Wheel. You can see both the sports stadiums. As we, as we pan over this way, it's a city that definitely has a few cranes in it and is changing itself. And now its most iconic landmark uh, will change as well. 